Rain began to fall. It didn't take long for flash flooding. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth is live now explaining why we see water rise so fast. Josh. Yeah, that's right. Like Gary just said, we saw over two inches of rain this morning. At one point, that rain was falling at a clip of two to three inches per hour. I spoke with the Kansas City Water Department, who said a lot of the pipes in the city are very old. They're not meant for that kind of rainfall. Storm drains, just like this one you see right here, had water rushing out of them this morning, contributing to the flash floods we saw that had a lot of people needing, needing to be rescued from their cars. Margaret Howard was driving home on Brookside when her car was consumed by high water. I mean, I was sitting and it was going up to my, the seat of my car. The rushing water damaging her vehicle, leaving debris in her seat. Just blocks away, still on Brookside, a Kansas City bus stalled in the water, some cars still daring to pass through. Alistair Reed witnessed the flooding, saying he's never seen waters rise so quickly. Something like this, no, no, unbelievable. And at Emanuel Cleaver in Elmwood near the plaza, Diane Pacheco was saved by firefighters who prevented her car from being brushed down Brush Creek after she tried driving through high water as well. Once you get into that and you realize that, yeah, you, your car could be carried away, it's pretty scary. The Kansas City Water Department also told me the pipes in some areas are over 100 years old and it would take nearly $50 million to replace them. And a reminder to never drive through water during a flash flood. It only takes six inches to possibly stall your car and only one foot of water to possibly sweep it off the road. Reporting live, Josh Elmuth, 41 Action News.